Mercedes might keep Carlos Sainz as bait. Carlos Sainz is still in the midst of a dilemma where giant teams are pulling strings to grab him. If he makes the right choice, that can ultimately change the dynamics of the 2025 season, where he can grab the top position. That sounds promising, right? Well, let's see what Carlos's options are. Carlos Sainz, along with Lewis Hamilton and Max Verstappen, has always been a promising player in F1, even after holding three titles in his pocket. The F1 market seems to be a little reluctant to Carlos Sainz. When Lewis Hamilton lit the current drift of the exit pattern, the paddock was not expecting such a setback that could cost the stability of the entire F1 world. Now, the trickle-down effect of such a departure has made it stop at Carlos Sainz's workstation. The holy grail of Ferrari is a dilemma now? Carlos Sainz was always said to be Ferrari's golden boy, who brought victory to Marinello. This three-time winner has taken Ferrari to another level, where it can compete with giants like Red Bull, Aston Martin, and McLaren, etc. The Charles Leclerc Carlos Sainz combo was one of the most wanted combos in the F1 paddock. Both of them signed their 12-month contracts in 2019. Charles Leclerc is in the last of his five-year deal, signed after his breakout first season for Ferrari in 2019. While Carlos Sainz is into the second of his two-season agreement signed in 2022. This combo was capable of challenging the powerful Hamilton-Russell duo, who were said to be unbeatable. They were the only drivers to stop Red Bull's winning streak, whose savior seems to be Max Verstappen. However, when the media disclosed Lewis Hamilton's potential entry into Ferrari in 2025, the one fear that hit the F1 enthusiast was Carlos Sainz's potential future in Ferrari. Everyone in the paddock feared an inevitable setback for Carlos Sainz. Now, that seems to be the reality. If Hamilton chooses to stay in Ferrari, that is a red card for the Carlos Sainz-Ferrari relationship that traces its beginning to 2019. Now, should Sainz be looking for a second home? Yes, indeed. Carlos Sainz is in urgent need of a potential rehab where he can unleash or maintain his real potential. In fact, there are plenty of options for him on the grid, with some being the ultimate giants of the game, which can be considered the best fit for him. The eight teams that will have free seats in 2025 are said to be Red Bull, Mercedes, Aston Martin, Alpine, Williams, RB, Sauber, and Haas. They need the best player to replace their potential loss caused by the sudden departure of key players. They could all be a safe space for Carlos Sainz. But, at the same time, the side-by-side -side deals and talks by other players are definitely snatching some potential opportunities for Sainz. Among them is Fernando Alonso's multi-year extension with Aston Martin. This was much expected by the F1 world, even when there were no speculations that he might look for a new team where he could enhance his performance. There were speculations that he might exit Aston Martin to grab a better deal for Mercedes. But as Fernando Alonso confirmed, his continuation in the Aston Martin, Sainz's green card en route to Aston Martin came to an end. Carlos Sainz's plan to hit Aston Martin are slowly shattering. He should start hunting for a team equal to or better than Aston Martin. When it comes to Red Bull, the master, despite the power struggle staged in the Red Bull GmbH, the team has to go forward. When the Austrian faction and the Thai faction are battling for authority, the price is paid by the key players like Max Verstappen. Following these internal conflicts, Max Verstappen is all set to leave Red Bull as a potential replacement for Hamilton in Mercedes. After Dietrich Meitschke's death, Red Bull was having a hard time. Starting from a fight for the top management positions, Red Bull has been losing its stability. And now, due to the rising influence of Christian Horner in the team, Max Verstappen is thinking of an escape route. That's where Carlos Sainz becomes significant for Red Bull. However, the emerging influence of the Thai faction and their interest in the Thai player Alex Albon will be a barrier for Sainz to channel his route to Red Bull. If Horner succeeds as the team principal, it's speculated that Alex Albon will be brought into Red Bull. This sprouting talent is expected to be an asset for the Red Bull family and a matter of pride for the Thai factor. Therefore, Carlos Sainz's entry into Red Bull will be determined following the fate of Max Verstappen and Alex Albon on the team. If Max Verstappen decides to remain in the bond with the Red Bull team amidst the conflict, that will be the end game for the Sainz Red Bull duo. Now, his only hope left was Mercedes and Toto Wolff. There were always speculations that Mercedes would be the second home for Carlos Sainz for the 2025 season. Who can fill the void caused by Hamilton's departure more than Carlos Sainz, right? Despite being one of the best teams in the F1, Mercedes has been having some hard times recently. Back-to-back -back DNFs, internal conflicts, and power struggles are making the team weak day by day. The Saudi Arabian Grand Prix 
followed by the Australian Grand Prix, were some of Mercedes's hardest lessons, even after working the hell out in the development of W15. Nothing brought victory to their home. The struggle started in the 2022 technical regulations, which made producing a highly competitive car a significant challenge. Now, it ended with a huge wound where Hamilton left the team for a better place at Ferrari. And that's where Mercedes is desperate for a replacement. The best options in front of them were Fernando Alonso, Max Verstappen, and Carlos Sainz. When Fernando Alonso chose to extend his contract with Aston Martin for only a couple of years, Mercedes's hope of bagging him shattered in split seconds. But that doesn't mean that Mercedes's options are dead. They still have some good players in the grid, one of them being Max Verstappen. Amidst the internal conflict with Red Bull, Max Verstappen is planning to drop his contract with Red Bull to find a better home. The rising influence of Christian Horner in the team will eventually lead to Max Verstappen knocking on the doors of a giant team like Mercedes. When the possibility of Verstappen knocking on Mercedes' door is highly uncertain, Carlos Sainz's entry into Mercedes becomes significant. But will he be a shadow of George Russell? Once Hamilton exits Mercedes, George Russell will tend to be the captain of Mercedes' cockpit. Finding pace in such a circumstance will be challenging for Carlos Sainz. One of the profound reasons Hamilton cut loose the ties with Mercedes was their increasing preferential treatment towards George Russell. In Melbourne, one of the most echoed criticisms that was the W14 was more aligned with George Russell's needs and preferences than Hamilton's. For better or for worse, Hamilton has given the team everything over the past decade, and he felt betrayed when the team's direction was at odds. When Sainz enters the team, George Russell's increasing influence might be a setback for him. I know I have been performing well recently. I know there will be a very good opportunity out there to remain competitive in the future in other teams. Now it's time to analyze carefully, listen a bit to everyone, hear a bit from everyone, and make sure I give myself some time to know what I want to do in the future, and where I'm going to spend my next, who knows, three or four years of my career. These wide words from Carlos Sainz hint towards the fact that he is searching for a stable, long-term contract that can keep him safe. Can Mercedes provide one such? No. Definitely not when the name Andrea Kimi Antonelli echoes in the Mercedes team. It's pretty clear to everyone that the Mercedes seat has a reserved sign with Antonelli's name on it. The Mercedes team principal, Toto Wolff, has always explicitly expressed his interest in bringing Antonelli into the F1 team. And that's where the one plus one year deal from the mastermind of Toto Wolff becomes significant. Mercedes are reportedly in talks with Sainz over a one plus one year contract in a deal that could allow Wolf to part ways with the Spanish racer just after 12 months with the team. That'll give Wolf a better chance to channel Antonelli into the team while keeping Sainz as bait. Sainz taking the cockpit in the 2025 season will give Kimi Antonelli some time to shape his skills in preparation for his ascent into the same seat. But that will keep Sainz in a state of uncertainty, and there is a chance of him being forced to hunt another team in 2026. When Mercedes is trying to save their head for the 2025 season, it might come at the cost of Carlos Sainz losing his cockpit back to back. So, will Carlos Sainz dare to make such a move that can be a potential threat to his future in F1? Comment down below and don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like the video, and share it with your fellow fans. Let's wait for the existing roller coaster and be sure to check in by pressing the bell icon. Bye for now!